I must say that I still do not fully comprehend how it was possible that the constitution of our country, the National Health Act, the National Mental Health Act, the Health Professions Council, the South African Nursing Act, the Public Service Act, as well as a plethora of policies and interventions like the Batupili policy, all failed the most vulnerable amongst us as a society, despite the voices and protests by the families over a protracted period, including an out-of-court settlement entered into. It is in this context that extraordinary measures, in addition to implementing the recommendation of the health ombuds, are being taken to rebuild the reputation of the whole Gauteng Department of Health as a humane, caring, patient-centered, and competent public service. To date, 1,398 patients uh, were discharged from life acid many. That's the record that they've given us. And the 789 are in the remaining 22 NGOs. There are patients who were discharged home. The Gauteng Department of Health will, together with the National Department uh, and, and the Premier's Office, uh, implement all recommendations of the Ombudsman. We will also continue to work with family representatives and constantly update them on the progress that has been made. We recommit to make the health system more responsive and more accountable to patients and their families. Having been asked to come, it was a very difficult decision. Maybe I must say it. Uh, I was very emotional. Emotional because it's as if all the efforts were in vain. And also emotional because it's as if we haven't mentored enough. Also emotional because I'm still an adult citizen of this country. And all of us, as adult citizens, we knew about the protests. We knew about the, we saw the articles as they emerged. We saw um, the TV interviews. Uh, we didn't understand fully the depth of this matter. And why I accepted to come back is because I would like every South African to also take responsibility. Even though we're not directly there, but all of us to say it's happening in our democracy uh, whilst we live. And um, we need to say, what can we do together? Yes, those that were directly responsible must be held accountable, but what else do we need to do? And I'm available uh, from those that uh, believe that they've got ideas on how else to ensure that this never happens again.